what's going on guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video i want to share with you guys a video from last night i thought we were going to see some monsoon action out here in the the southeast phoenix area i took some video footage as the the storms were moving in at around eight o'clock and they were coming in at a at a pretty good clip in fact we're going to start here at the the video footage that i recorded last night this is the radar as the storms were moving in between seven and eight o'clock again coming in at a a pretty good clip and then it was almost like they ran in to a invisible wall and just went away. The, the sky was lighting up with lightning. We started seeing some wind and, and of course it stirred up the sand. The skies turned purple. I think that was because of the sand. And we got a few raindrops. We saw some sheet lightning. We did see some cloud to ground lightning right there. And the rain came in and lasted maybe two minutes. I think we had a few drops here and there but that's been happening now for the last few weeks the storms will will generate and they look like they're going to be very strong coming in very quickly and then as quickly as they come in they simply disappear so they're trying once again tonight I'll keep you guys updated if we do have a monsoon that comes into the area right now I want to take you guys up to the 60 degree north latitude you may not be aware of the the major wildfire situation that's going on up here in the what I call the crown part of the earth, the, the 60 degree latitude that wraps around the earth. The wildfires extend for 1,500 miles, actually a little over 1,500 miles from Alaska all the way back into the, the Northwest Territories of Canada. Coming over here to zoom.earth, this is from a couple of days ago when the, the clouds opened up a little bit. You can see the, the wildfire smoke down here in Alaska and it extends all the way over here into Northern Canada. You can see some very large wildfires right there that coincide with this map right here and you can see there are many wildfires underway right now as I do this video. Tanya who lives up in the, the Northwestern Territory area shared this website site with me that keeps track of the the ongoing wildfire situation that's setting a record I believe this year right now there's 120 active fires underway in the just in the Northwest Territories alone 120 right here in this area just over hundred and thirty one thousand acres have been consumed by wildfires so far this year and they're far from over in fact they're just getting started as you can see by the the smoke here on zoom earth this goes back to about three days ago when you could see a, a little break in the cloud action there that's a combination of cloud and smoke as the wildfires span for 1,500 miles stretching from Alaska all the way over into northern Canada. Looking at the Schumann Resonance, another day, another unique signature. You can see I've I put them all together here, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. And you can see the similarities, an identical signature showing up once again in the Schumann Resonance. Coming over here to the website, new photos sent in by Hennig out of Texas. Spectacular photo of the recent full moon visible from Texas. Here's another look at the, the Schumann Resonance. Not only did we see that reoccurring pattern once again, there were also two very large, strong spikes that were themselves about 24 hours apart. Looking at the Sahara sand situation, if you're along the coast of Texas, you're probably starting to see the, the sand plume making its way through the Gulf of Mexico into Texas and the east coast of Mexico. And there's more to come. You can see the, the 4,000 mile long plume now spanning across the Atlantic Ocean. Wanted to share with you guys something I noticed over here also at nullschool.net. Notice the, the upper level winds here in the southern hemisphere compared to the, the upper level winds in the northern hemisphere. There's a staggering difference here between the, the wind speeds of the northern hemisphere at the 69 degree latitude. The winds are 14 miles per hour. At the same latitude in the southern hemisphere, the winds are moving at 214 miles per hour. So a 200 mile an hour difference in the upper level winds of the atmosphere between the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. And that's right now as I do this video. Just something I wanted to share with you guys. I found that the sharp contrast in the wind speeds quite interesting. Coming over here to Lake Mead, looking at the, the water situation, it's still going down. We have a new all-time record low, 1,041.46. The outflow of 1520 superseding the inflow of, of 13.5, and that results in yet another negative reading as the, the giant slope over here, the declining water 
water continues to decline at a at a record-setting pace. It's never been this low. And as we spoke of a couple of days ago, if this trend continues at this particular pace, there's about two years worth of water that 25 million people depend on up here in the, the Lake Mead Reservoir that sits behind the mighty Hoover Dam. Once again, we've got monsoon trying to make its way into the valley out here in southeast Phoenix. If it does make its way in tonight and does not run into that invisible wall like it's been doing now every night, at least in our area, the storms are trying to make their way in. As it's very, very dry out here, and we definitely need the rain. But right out here in the southeast valley area, it runs into a wall, and it seems like the storms disappear as quickly as they arrive. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Starting off in Winnipeg, Canada, a photo sent in by Dan B. of a very intense halo high in the sky above Canada. Quebec by, by Caroline, a, a very tall, impressive double-decker rainbow. Another double-decker rainbow by Roy T. out of Alberta, Canada. Yet another one out of Wilmington, Delaware by Ray K. Almost right up in his location. Look at the colors of that very intense double-decker rainbow. Once again, probably within a couple of hundred yards of his location, maybe less. Troy out of Mississippi, some incredible lightning. There's another example of that sheet lightning that we've been seeing here lately. That is actually in the sky. Bill S., not sure of the location, but an incredible wall cloud there up in the sky. Photo here by Vicki C. out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, of some very ominous-looking, low-to-the-ground mammatus clouds, and then this green arch. That is a shelf cloud that was spanning across the sky. You can see campers here in the foreground looking up and pointing at the sky as a very impressive shell cloud went through their area. Yet another very impressive shell cloud by Skyler out of Hartford City, Indiana. Yet another very photogenic storm cloud. And if you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.